Andy Shepard? I haven't seen him today. Here, it's his phone number. Maybe that will help. Oh, uh, one second. Hello? <laughs> this is Andy. I'm gonna have to call you back. I am getting glared at so hard, I think my eyes are gonna burn out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Phone calls, am I right? Anyways, yeah, I'm Andy. I didn't mean to lie about not seeing myself today. Truth is, I still haven't seen my reflection yet. <laughs> Rochelle? Yeah, yeah, I know her. It's still kind of mad that she can no longer attend next week's innuendo seminar. Can you believe I have to fill her slot instead? <laughs> well, I, I don't give out information so easily. I usually need dinner first. Yeah. It was a shame what happened. Rochelle and I were really close office buddies. We'd constantly banter over my amazing jokes. To me, she was like a, a snowman who occasionally had a temper tantrum. She had a cold demeanor, and when something she didn't like happened, she'd have a meltdown. And yet, I never thought she was capable of killing her girlfriend, Allie. They were a great couple. I toasted at their breakfast. Ellie was Rochelle's butter half. <laughs> butter. <laughs> ah, well, it, to be fair, it was strange how Allie invited me to Rochelle's birthday party, but then disappeared for a month or two. It turns out Rochelle had her girlfriend locked up in her apartment. Allie cut ties with her family years ago, so they definitely didn't try and find her. I'll tell you one thing, Rochelle was creative about her disappearance, crying at work, constantly calling Allie, begging her to return her calls. Crime-wise, she was an artist. But like my mother always told me, never trust an artist. They're sketchy, shady, and they constantly try to frame you. <laughs> mm. it's, uh, it, it's sad, really. Because her, her cousin Caitlin was the one to find their bodies. She rushed over after Rochelle was acting strange on the phone, ever since her radio show has plummeted. It was okay beforehand, but after the incident, her persona really changed. She used to be this happy-go-lucky person who, who brought life to the morning. Now, she always sounds so mournful, like she's stuck in a rut. It really affected views, you know? It's gotten so bad. <clears throat> I heard that she's getting replaced by a new guy. They're hoping that by replacing her with a new host, it'll resurrect the show, give it a new start. These are all just rumors anyway, so, so take them with a grain of salt. Very likely rumors, mind you. I mean, I haven't heard Allie's voice on the show in weeks. Butter still rumors. So don't go spreading it, you hear? Uh, darkness? What, as in shadows or a, a dark room? Strange behaviors or supernatural occurrences? No, no, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that, but then again, my girlfriend always tells me I'm a skeptic, but I don't think I believe her. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I'm happy to help. So, when will I be able to hear about this? I have loads of people I can show this to. What? You, you're not going public? Are, are you kidding me? An independent investigation? You're telling me I wasted my good puns on something that's not going to be published? Yeah, yeah, I don't care. You've wasted enough of my time anyway. Hands down. <laughs>